Welcome to Media Scavenger Hunt. It's your guy Walter, and tonight we're reviewing Constantine, episode four, titled A Feast of Friends. A lot of things happen in this episode, but we're gonna condense it down to the nitty gritty, get our binoculars ready, get them nice and focused, and I zoom in tight and get right to it. An old friend of John Constantine's comes into town when his friend Gary Lester who was back in his Newcastle days when he had his punk rock band Mucus Membrane and they did a botch exorcism trying to help free this demon that was possessing this girl Astra. His friend, you know, was scared, drug user, ran away from that. So in his trying to redeem himself, as, as well as trying to battle his demons being a drug user. He was on heroin, heroin and everything. He winded up in Sudan and seen this little boy that had sacrificial markings on him. So he automatically recognized those as something's wrong with this boy. He's possessed. So John's friend tries to release a demon that had a killer appetite. It was a hunger demon. And he trapped it inside of a bottle. In the same way that you would trap a genie inside of a bottle, he marked the bottle with some binding ritual spells and went to the boy and performed this reverse exorcism and trapping the demon inside of this bottle. Then going to the airport and going through customs, the customs, the customs officer Asked him what's inside the bottle. He told him don't open it. Of course, he he picked up the bottle and it broke. And a swarm of beetles came out and entered the custom officer's mouth. And this started the epidemic up in Atlanta where he was his flight had just landed. So he had went to John's. He went to John's cabin seeking John's help. In order to trap this demon again. And this is how the story takes takes off. If anybody is familiar with the Hellblazer comics. This is really based on issues 1 and 2. With some slight changes as well as it being watered down for TV. Still it holds faithful to the plot. Gary did try to unpossess a boy who had the hunger demon trapped inside of him. He is one of John's old friends. John does go to an African mystic who takes him on this psychedelic astral plane journey to another, another realm in order to find out how can I defeat this hunger demon which comes in the form of these beetles that swoop up out of one possessed person's mouth and go into another one and cause them to have immense hunger where they eating everything until all the, until they can uh, consume their self and eat their self away and then they have to jump into another possessed body. So the African mystic tells John, in order for you to defeat this demon, two things you need. You need this African knife as well as a human vessel to trap the demon inside of. And he had to use his, 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 uh, one of his oldest friends Gary to be this human sacrifice which Gary volunteered because all his life he's been a drug addict and a coward and he wanted to do one redeeming thing with his life so this really showed that one John would do anything in order to defeat the underworld defeat these demons that are rising up and two that People die around John. He said it before, time and time again. He's told Zeb this, and this is one of the the internal battles within himself that he knows that a lot of people will have to sacrifice their selves in order for him to achieve a greater good, as well as he had to sacrifice a lot of his, himself. You know, his the emotional depth in this was real. Uh, was a real good episode, and it shows that what will John do? in order to help people as well as help himself. This was a bittersweet reunion for John with his old friend Gary because one, he knew that Gary, he always knew that Gary was a coward, but he still loved him because that was his guy. And he knew that he always felt bad for running out on John in Newcastle. And two, 
once John went to the African mystic and found out that he had to have a human sacrifice, a vessel as a matter of fact for this, he already knew what he had to do. He had to sacrifice one of his best friends. And this is putting John in one of those positions where it's slowly eating away at his soul, which his soul is already condemned to hell. So he already has another black mark on his soul because he's condemning another person to hell. So the scales of balance is, is not weighing in John's favor right here. So this really was a touching episode. Thank you. Good looking and much gratitude to anybody that like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And remember, media scavenger hunters, keep your binocular lenses focused and your zoom in tight.